I've got something a little bit different today. It's called Wondercraft, and it's an AI audio platform for creating podcasts and radio ads and meditations and commercials, all things audio. In addition to generating the scripts and then generating the audio voiceover based on the character you select, they've also got a bunch of music tracks and sound effects built right in there that you can pop into your projects without having to generate them. Let's create something together and see how it works. Here we are logged into Wondercraft and on the homepage. We've got some options here. We can start by clicking one of these buttons like ads, podcasts, audiobooks, and go that route. But I'm just going to come down here and click on create a new track. On the project page on the top left, we have a prompt box. And the type of prompt it's looking for here is a directional prompt to write a script for us. When I say directional, I mean that we're not going to just write a script in here or paste the script in here. We're going to give it instructions on how to write a script for us. I'm going to leave the language set on English and I'm going to come over here and click library. And under each one of those are some different types of projects you might want to create. If you're not digging any of these templates that are in the library, you can come back over to custom and click add new project, give it a name, type in the prompt that you want to use and that you'll probably want to reuse and then save that prompt for your future projects. I'm going to go back to podcast and I'm going to pick this topic video to podcast classic. Taking a look at the prompt, it's saying create a podcast episode script from these topics, including an intro and outro, the name. This looks like a good start. So we'll go ahead and click use prompt. Now I've got a pretty good framework for my prompt. I can really just fill in the blanks here. Take what's highlighted, change that to what I want it to be. But I want to make a few tweaks here. Instead of it being a single host podcast, I want to make it two hosts and then we'll just fill in everything else. All right, great. That is looking good. Let's go ahead and click this generate script button. And here we go in the right panel. It's creating this script. We've got lines for each one of our hosts. And down at the bottom, it is creating a timeline and blocking out spaces for each one of our hosts lines. Now let's see who we've got for voices here. And right away I see it's got Anna, presumably a female voice, assigned to my host Ricky, and Adrian assigned to Lucy. Need to make some changes here. Let's see what Adrian sounds like. So um, astronomers have spotted this. And Anna. Why can some people change and others cannot? So let's see what a couple of these sound like. Let your imaginations. Let your imagination. Sing with the morning. Sing with the morning. What are the determining variables? So for my host Ricky's voice, I'm going to go ahead and use Adrian. I just got to get these switched around. So I'm using Adrian for Ricky's lines and Anna for Lucy's lines and not vice versa. So I'll click on this plus sign and I'll say apply to all clips with Anna's voice. It's giving me that option because I started on Anna's line here when I clicked Anna to potentially swap out the voice. It's asking me, do you want to change it for just this line for all the clips where Anna was used or for all the clips in the project? I just want to swap out the Anna for the Adrian. Oh no. Well, I wasn't thinking too clear on that one. Now I have ended up with everybody being Adrian because my two characters were Anna and Adrian. And I just said, take everybody that's Anna and make it Adrian. So now in order to change all those Adrians that actually should be Anna's, I'm going to have to do those manually. So I'll go ahead and click every other line here, which is Lucy and swap those from Adrian to Anna. I could have avoided that if I had caught it and just taking all the Anna voices and and instead of making those Adrian, switching those to some voice I wasn't even going to use, but that would stand out, apply that to all the Anna clips, then go swap all the Adrians to Anna's and then swap all the temporary ones back to Anna's, if that makes any sense. All right, now we've got our voice characters assigned. Let's come down here and click generate all and let's see what it sounds like. Welcome to Debatable, the podcast where we tackle controversial topics with a pinch of humor and a dash of friendly debate. I'm Ricky. And I'm Lucy. Today, we're diving into a hot topic that's been stirring up the art world. Are AI-generated images really art? Ooh, Lucy, this is a juicy one. I've seen some mind-blowing AI-created images lately. All right, I'm not sure I'm in love with the voices. They sound okay, but they're not super natural. And without upgrading to a paid account, there's not a whole lot that I can do about that. Looking, for instance, at Adrian's voice, there are no style presets that we can use. He just kind of is what he is. And then Anna's voice, you can use director mode with her voice. Using director mode, you could prompt even on a line-by-line -line basis and say, they shorten up the pauses or make her sound like she's eating while she's talking or any other weird thing you can think of that might help you get the voice the way you want it. But I'm using a free account here, so those things aren't available. Let's move on and see what else we can do with this project. How about if we take a look at the music? We 
can go ahead and add one of those just by clicking this plus sign. It'll put it down on our timeline as its own track. And I think for a podcast, rather than having this background music, put this at the end so that it can be like our outro music. I haven't quite figured out how to fade the audio yet, but let's go over and take a look at sound effects, see if there's anything we could add in here to spice this up. Since we're talking about AI, I was thinking something futuristic. Oh, there we go. Alien technology. We'll pop that in at the beginning when we first start talking about the topic. Welcome to Debatable, the podcast where we tackle... Sounds good. You can generate sound effects right here within Wondercraft. However, that is a premium feature. Let's say we're ready to download this podcast so that we can send it off. We'll come up here to this upper right hand corner and click the export button. File type of MP3 will be just fine for us. I'll click download. It starts rendering the project. And as soon as that's done, it downloads. Let's try something else with Wondercraft. Back on the home page, create new track. I'm gonna go back to the prompt library and under advertisement, I'm gonna try a brand affinity ad. Let's make a parody so it's not boring. We've got our template up here, so we can just swap out the basics here, like how long we want it, the format, where it's gonna be, the demographics, all that kind of stuff. I'm gonna fill these in right quick. We'll leave it at 30 seconds. I'm gonna say a radio ad. This is gonna be for the Cold Stone Mortuary Company. We'll say middle-aged men and women. The tone of the copy, I'm gonna say humorous, witty, and sarcastic. And we wanna to touch on what are the brand points. I'll drop a couple of selling points in here about our mortuary company. Looks good. Let's hit generate script. See what voice we wanna use. Dance like the universe is watching. I like this guy, let's use him. I guess he's only available on the pro plan. That's the $65 a month deal. So yeah, that's gonna be a pass. All right, can we filter by what is pro and non-pro? Eh, apparently not. All right, shop through these voices a little bit more. Embrace your victories like the sun greets the day with boundless energy and light. How about this guy? No, we've gotta be on at least the creator plan for him. Dang it. Laugh until the stars come down to join in, turning the night into a celebration. All right, Jeffrey sounds good. I don't remember seeing one of those little locks next to him. Generate to get this script in Jeffrey's voice. And I've got an idea to do something a little bit special with this, so we're not gonna do the playthrough just yet. Instead, I'm gonna add a music track. Gonna tighten that up a little bit on that end, get it right where I want it to start. Same thing on the end. Gonna drop in a couple of sound effects. Aha, here are the fades. If we click this little speaker icon just at the top left of the timeline, we have volume, but we also have fade in and out, and we can set that for a number of seconds, down to tenths of seconds. I'm just popping in a couple more sound effects. All right, I have the audio for my radio ad ready to go, so I'm just gonna come in the upper right-hand corner, click export, download, let it render and download. All right, I did a thing here. I took that radio ad from Wondercraft, then I went and created some AI images and videos to go along with it so that I could create this cool little video. Here it is all put together. Introducing Coldstone Mortuary Company, where we put the fun in funeral and the luck in embalming fluid. Worried about the cost? Don't be. Our prices are so low, you'll think you've died and gone to heaven. And with our fantastic financing options, you can rest in peace knowing you're only paying 69% APR. That's right, folks. Our interest rates are to die for. At Coldstone, we're not just dependable, we're dead pendable. Our services are so reliable, you'll wish you could come back to life just to use them again. Remember, you can't take it with you. But with Coldstone Mortuary Company, you can certainly go out in style. What do you think? So what kind of pricing and plans does Wondercraft have? Well, the starter plan, 10 credits per month, and credits here seem to be per minute of generation. So 10 credits per month, it gets you 10 minutes of generating whatever. You get the script assistant, you get 40 standard voices, 30 languages, 10 music tracks, and 10 sound effects. That's not a lot, but I think that's enough to play with it and see if you like it and how it works and whatnot. And then the creator plans 100 credits per month, $35 a month. With that, you also get an instant voice clone, video export, 2,000 premium music tracks, 1,000 premium soundtracks. You can upload audio clips, music, and sound effects. And if you want 500 plus premium voices, parrot mode, which is speech to speech, 10 instant voice clones, professional voice cloning, work with teams, 
generate custom sound effects, be able to export in WAV format, and have content translation, you are looking at 65 bucks a month for the pro plan at 200 credits per month, which would be 200 minutes. Seems a bit salty, and I'm not a huge fan of some of these features being all the way up in this high-end pro tier at 65 bucks a month. Call me crazy, I think the main difference between paid plans should just be how much usage you get out of it, but hey, that's just me. Director mode, being able to tell it how you want it to change the voice versus trying to figure out how to move the sliders and write things to make it get there. That could be a pretty big time saver and create next level stuff if it consistently does what you expect it to do. The reason I'm talking about Wondercraft is because Dimitri, one of the founders of Wondercraft, reached out to me and said, hey, will you check this out? So I checked it out. I checked the company out and it turns out they're a pretty small team too. They seem legit, seem like they are trying to do big things, and they seem sincere. So I did sign up for their affiliate program. There's a link in the description if you want to try out Wondercraft. If you make a purchase, I may receive a small commission. I sincerely appreciate it when folks do use my affiliate links. That's how I support my family, so my sincerest thanks. Overall, I think Wondercraft is on the right track. I think they've got some interesting things they're bringing to the table. I'd like to see the director mode available for most, if not all, of the voices, and I'd like to see it not locked into the $65 a month plan. Hey, I appreciate you hanging out with me. I hope this video was either helpful or at least entertaining, and I hope to see you in the next one.